Seems like I get to work earlier and earlier as the days go on. And I'm not sure why these, y'all see all the trash they threw in the back of the white truck? <laughs> I come out here every couple of days. My, my silver truck actually is pretty clean. There's actually nothing in the, look, there's nothing in the back of this truck right now. Except for a couple of center, center cap boxes and some mulch. But we got two big shows we're going to today. One down in Macon, and then uh, there's one at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium up in Atlanta that I'm gonna go by. Shout out to Amani Forged for inviting me out to that one. Uh, so we're gonna go have a good time. <coughs> <laughs> Damn it. We're gonna go out and have a good time with these guys down here south of Macon. The whole Southern Tire Squad's going. Jay Ford, uh, Rob, Jimmy, everybody. Everybody is going. And then we're gonna go up to uh, Amani Forged up in uh, Mercedes Benz and, and have a good time. It's gonna be a long day, but I don't really care. I'm down for the, I'm down for the get down. I'm down for whatever. If there's bread to be made, that wide bow tie, we'll be there. I was trying to think of something that rhymed with made, uh, that wide bow tie could do. Bread could be made, stayed, I don't know. Let's get this bread. I'll tell you what though, how am I supposed to justify getting my truck washed today for both of these shows if the shitty ass weather going on? I finally decided to turn over a new leaf here, start taking care of my truck and keeping it nice and clean all the time. Especially because I'm getting new wheels and tires by the end of the year. So I'm trying to get better. And Mother Nature's like, ah, ah, ah. Not today, buddy. What's for breakfast today? This is Jake's 30 second breakfast food, re food review. This is Hardy's, it's local. It has Swiss cheese and American cheese on it, and it's fire, and I did not get you one. <laughs> wow. DoorDash prices are outrageous. So. Wow. But it's delicious, you wanna buy it? Actually, yeah. Well, getting ready to head out to the show, so I, I drove my little white truck to the bank today, and I uh, got a nice little, you wanna tell the people what's going on with my white truck? Fucking piece of shit. My piece of shit. My ball joints are about to fall out, so it's death wobbling at about 50 miles an hour. All right, Alex, I'm here. You can you can walk away and give me the camera now. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, inner, if we'll go ahead and do the front end on it, inner outer tie rods, ball joints, all that stuff. Uh, one of the hubs got done a couple weeks ago, so both the hubs are good. I'm thinking go ahead and do the three inch spindles on it while I got everything torn apart. You think I should go ahead and lift the white truck since I'm tearing apart the front end next week? Not a whole lot, just a little bit of bull, a little, and bulldog. A little three inch keep spindle street, lift? Keep the street, yeah. I'm thinking three inch spindle lift. I think I need to send it, go ahead and do that. Let me know in the comments below if I should do the three inch. I'm not going five or anything. I'll Maybe probably- five, just a little yeah, bit. Why don't you let me know in the comments about this trailer hitch? I'll probably go ahead and leave the, uh, what, the spray paint? Look at that, spray brand new. Is that, that was silver like 45 minutes ago. No, this was rust. Did y'all just spray paint that? Yeah, we sanded it down spray paint. It's brand new custom, look at that. That looks really good customs. actually. Mikey's pretty good at everything he sticky. does. It's still wet. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the Cadillac wheels, throw some mud tires on it, three inch spindle lift. I think that's the move. I got a question, what the hell is this thing? What the hell is this? I was told it's got no brakes right now. You wanna go for a joy ride in the side by side? It's got no brakes though. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. This is that car? This is that car. <laughs> yeah. 
Jimmy got your ass. This is the red side of the car. What, what are you, J4? What the hell are you doing up there, homie? Oh shit! You can fuck up some goddamn rims if you do that. What's up, dude? Only guy up here with forces. Don't know how to drive out there. All right. Shout out to JB and uh, Stunt Like Me, everybody at the track. I think Summit Racing is a sponsor. Shout out to my mom, you know, pushed me out a couple years ago. None of this would be possible without you guys. Um, awesome show out here today. I love, I mean, I just, I love coming out, meeting you guys, having a good time. You guys know the weight of my heart is food, right? So we're gonna do a quick little, little two minute restaurant review for you guys. First of all, burger was fire. Fries are fire, that's why they're gone already. You guys saw a quick clip and they're gone. These are his actually, so shout out to the uh, sponsor for the fried pickles. I'm gonna try a little bit of, a little bit of, ooh, a little dunk, ooh. Burn my mouth, burn my mouth. <laughs> Ow. Those are really good actually. Really good fried pickles. But, moment of the day, the fried Oreos. That's what I'm waiting on. Look at that hand fried. Custom Oreo right there. You like the custom fabrication on that Oreo? Yeah. I was, I was recording. Really? No. That's fire. You want one? I mean one. You want one? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive after this. Yeah. Make a left. Make a left. What's that fuck doing? What's that fuck though? It was all over my face. I got something in my beard. My <laughs> beard. That's fucked up. Get this bread. You know I had to show some love. First of all, y'all go follow Good Old Boys 912 on Instagram. Had to show some love to, in my opinion, the cleanest truck out here, not with Southern Tire. We got that 19 to 21 Silverado with the McGoy's lift. Yeah. It looks like it's probably what nine, ten inches. We got the double row wheel lights, 26 by 14 XF. Off-road. Shout out to XF Off-Road, Amani Forge. We're heading to that show later today as well. So you guys will get to see a shit ton of Amani Forge and XF Off-Road. But I love 2614 with the, with the Road Ones. I love this truck. That's clean. Y'all, you guys know how much of a fan of white I'm becoming. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming such a fan of the white. And I love all the red accents on the back too. It's a beautiful ass truck. 
boys always always doing it right hell yeah how you feel about winning best suv man i fucking do i love it i'm so excited <laughs> best suv uh actually he should have won best suv but he won best in show best in show that's crazy right i can't even believe it can't even believe it Thank you. You didn't drive, I'm assuming you probably <laughs> flew. From Seattle to the show and just happened to find my crazy ass out here. Had to, had to make a moment of it so you can <laughs> yes, go back sir, yes. and see it on YouTube till the end of time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm a little upset that he saw Jake's Tahoe first, but I mean, I guess that's what I was going for. That's what you were going That's why we parked you up front. I'm a little bit wider. He is wider, he is wider, but hey, I, I appreciate you. That's made my day right there. We went, made my day, made my day. So this is this how I see it. When I, when I started building the truck, if you're gonna have a nice truck, if you're gonna have something that you like, enjoy the shit out of it. Drive it everywhere, do whatever you want with it. Make it make it something different, you know? I respect people that build stuff to make it super nice and pristine and all these different things, but if you're gonna have something, make it different, you know? Every scratch, every you know piece of paint that's chipped off is, is a story, is, is something about the channel that people are gonna remember, you know? Yeah, because it's a Christmas tree that scratched it that's in a video at one point, you know? First videos. 
that's one of our first videos yeah, I showed up and I took it off finally it was like three months after Christmas I finally took it off and I'm like wow you know but so as a youtuber I don't have to be perfect I don't show up to shows to have the nicest truck I show up because I film and have a good time and uh, you guys just need to remember let's get this bread No, you gotta be in this. You gotta be in this. Yeah, I like how you put on a different face when you jump right for the camera. All right, Shout out to right. Amani Forge for the invite to uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium for this awesome car show. Shout out to Whips by Wade, I Whips Attic, everybody. This was a good show. I think it was Whips Attic. Um, I did see Whips by Wade posted. I'm not sure if they're connected or anything, but uh, we've done some, some business with Whips by Wade before anyway. So shout out to those guys. Mercedes Benz State. This is one of the coolest car shows I've ever been to. Yeah, this is the coolest one I've ever been to. Hundred percent, one of the best put together. Hell, we got searched by dogs when we got here, hey. and that was that was. I mean, I wasn't that's scared. rough by itself. But <laughs> but shout out to Steph from Amani Ford. Shout out to you know Mercedes Benz. Amani Ford's coming through clutch for us. This is the coolest thing of the day for sure. We got to see some of our customers out here. We there were trucks out here that we had built. You know how many pictures I got? Look at the background. It's awesome. This is one of the, literally one of the coolest spots I've ever been to for a meet, and I, I'm glad that I get to bring you guys along for this. I mean, just look at the, look at the sunset behind us with the trucks. I actually had a, the customer from Seattle come say something to me. Uh, there's a white F-150 that we built. There's a white Silverado that we built. I think there was a Jeep over there we built. A lot of customer from Seattle, but it was a YouTube. Or it was a, it was a YouTube f a subscriber. So shout out to Jonathan, I believe his name was. Yeah. Was it Jonathan? Just Donovan. Randomly. Jonathan. Randomly Donovan. Jonathan. Randomly. One of the two. Super nice couple. I mean. This is cool as shit. I love you guys for uh, for you know supporting the channel and allowing allowing me to do cool shit like this. It's kind of a different change of scenery. It's, too. Yeah, it's a different change of scenery, definitely. Super cool stuff. Didn't get a chance to try any food though. Yeah, I was thinking about that. There's food right there. It is what it is. Hey, the fried Oreos earlier were good as fuck though. <laughs> what? Leonard is beaten down over there. This weather change can suck it. Weather change always messes with my allergies. I hate this shit. Weather's stupid. It needs to just stay hot all the time. But it's Monday. Let's get this bread. You ever have those days, I was talking about this in the last video, you ever have those days where you look down and it's like eight o'clock and then you look up and it's 4.30 and I'm you're like, and you're like, what the hell's going on? We, we were joking about it in the last video. There's people that, that call up here and think I'm a paid actor. They think I get paid to come up here and film a little bit. This man don't even they, get paid to work. They, yeah, <laughs> they, they don't think, they don't know that I'm up here eight to six, Monday through Friday all the time and people call and their mind is blown that they can watch the video and talk to Alex. But I wanted to make sure it's been raining off and on. It's starting to rain now. A bunch of bullshit. I hate the rain. The weather is stupid. I wanted to take a moment and uh, show you guys the build of the day, especially. But one that I'm super excited about. I, I know we talk KG1, KG1, KG1. All, all we do is talk about forged wheels. Forged wheels are great. But not everybody wants to go forged wheels. And this is the perfect example of going moderate without going too crazy and not going too crazy on price either. You know, these, they're, they're like hardcore, for example, I'll use hardcore, the hardcore vaccine. It's kind of cool that they made a vaccine and a pandemic is two of their wheels that they've made now. And the hardcore vaccine is one of the best examples of being able to get 24s or 26s at half the cost of a forged wheel. Now these hardcore vaccines, they, a lot of, I've, been, I've been having some issue finding chrome ones. Chrome and anything cast right now is very difficult. But if you're in the market for some black wheels, 24s and 26s especially, 
hardcore, hostile, you know, even fuel sometimes. Great, great options when it comes to doing black wheels. Truck came in eight o'clock today. Norm, nine times out of 10, we're having your builds done same day. There's a lot of people that really don't believe we're doing this same day. And truck gets dropped off at eight o'clock by four, 4.30. It's ready to ride, aligned, retort, everything. Installed, 2020 Silverado. That six inch rough country, 24 by 12, K KG1. Wow, look at me, I do KG1 so much. Hardcore Vaccine and the Gladiators. Gladiators are an amazing tire. The look is second to none, I'm sorry. If, if you're wanting that aggressive look without being too crazy, and I know the tread looks absolutely insane, but they're not as loud and they're not as bad as people really make it out the seam. I, I wanna take a second to touch on this because I get a lot of calls that, that say, you know, I hear bad things about rough country. I hear bad things about, I, 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 I have never understood the hate on rough country. Now I know they used to have a bad name, but as far as I'm concerned, rough country is one of the best lift kits on the market. The warranties are great. Customer service is great. The install is easy. The price is cheap. I mean, there's so many things there that add up together to make the Rough Countries a very, a very affordable and very good lift kit, in my opinion. Now, they don't go to your big seven, nine, 10 inch lifts, but that's not why they're on the market. The six inch Rough Country that we put on all of these new body style trucks, they're on these new body style trucks because they're a great option if you're not wanting to go McGoy's, FTS, Cognito, any of your big lift kit. I, I, I just noticed this while I'm looking at the 35 on the windshield. Now, most people aren't crazy enough to do 5% like me. I don't even think most people would consider doing 5% on their windshield, but I love the tinted windshield. That's one of my favorite things about this. I love this blue color. We, I think we've done, We've done a couple of these blue ones. We've done one, you know, some with the chrome front, but we haven't really done any of them blue with the black on it. So it's, you know, for those of you that have the blue truck and you're trying to decide between chrome and black, it's a great opportunity. There's other videos I've done where you have the chrome and you get to see the black. I just, I love these hardcore vaccines. I really do. That truck looks really good. I've been talking about that with, I was talking to, I, somebody the other day was telling me that these trucks stock don't really look that good. No, no, no. But once you lift them, they've got a whole different look, whole different presence to it. All the black grill, the black inserts, the black accents, that black lift kit, black wheels, you know, really accent that dark blue color really well. It's a beautiful truck. I say it all the time, but I'm a, I'm a Chevy guy. At the end of the day, I really am. It's raining like hell, it's nasty outside. Probably ain't gonna get much done today. But if you guys wanna see more show content, more shows, more truck meets, let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see some more of that style content. It's a little bit harder to film shows, it's a little bit harder to do those videos, but if that's something that you guys like, I will entertain it and I will do more of that for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the content today. I will see you guys very, very soon. I love you guys. Let's get this bread. Get this bread baby. That's what I'm talking about.